Now let's take a look at the new extend feature for late to close alarms that come into the system. Uh, really there's not a whole lot you need to do from a setup standpoint uh, when these alarms come in. What we've done is we've added a new extend button to the uh, auto dialer dialog box and we'll see uh, that here when we generate this late to close alarm. So the first thing I'm going to do is generate a manual signal for this account. We'll go in here make sure that we've got the right account. And in this case, again, let's send in a, a late to close. And we'll go ahead and send the signal. And the alarm screen should be coming in here, so we'll go ahead and accept that alarm. And again, here we have our customer information, our alarm information here. We can see that it's a late to close, and our action pattern telling us to contact the customer at the site. So when I execute my first command, it'll go ahead and launch my auto dialer, and we now have an extend button that has been added to the auto dialer dialog box. So to extend the closing, if in my discussion with them that's what they wish to do, we can go ahead and click on the extend. We'll first of all need to validate their password. So we can go down here and validate the password and see that that password does have the permission to uh, change the schedule. So we'll hit OK. And now my extend options down here are activated. So I can come down here and say that we're going to extend it by X number of minutes or until a specific time. So if they tell me rather than 5 o'clock for their closing today, they're going to be in the building until 9 o'clock, we can go in here and put in 2100. Hit Continue. Finish. And at this point then, we can go ahead and log our conversation with them and close out the active alarm. Now to see how that uh, actually affects the schedule, we'll go ahead and pull up that customer record and go to our open and close schedule and take a look at the temporary schedule for today. And we can see now that that schedule has been extended uh, to a 2100 time, which is our 9 o'clock for that new closing schedule. The second enhancement that was made to the late to close functionality was the incorporation of two new options uh, within the tools and options settings of uh, the supervisor's workstation. And the first one is late to close requires temp schedule change. If set to yes, this will actually force the operator to enter a new schedule time in. In other words, go through that extend uh, functionality or motions to create that new must close situation. Uh, this is a global variable, so if set to yes, it will require it for all of your late to close customers. The other option that we put in here is a maximum time in hours for required new temp schedule time. Uh, so this again is a, an hour value uh, that will be the maximum amount of time by which you can extend that closing. So in this particular case, and our default value for this is four. Uh, so that will allow me to extend the closing up to four hours uh, from the original must close time. So with those two uh, functions or options set within the supervisor's workstation, let's go ahead and bring back up Manitou. And we'll go ahead and run through the uh, scenario one more time, uh, but this time now with that forced extension uh, scenario in play. So I'm going to go ahead here into my uh, manual signal. We'll go ahead and send that signal in. And my alarm should generate here. And here we're presented then again with our alarm information and that call list here, that contact information. So if I were to go in here and say, let's go ahead and uh, do that first item. Again, I've got my extend button here, uh, but let's go ahead and bypass that this time. Let's just validate the password of the person that we're talking to. So I'll get a list here and see that the password there is bold and that does have the ability to adjust the schedule change here. We can go ahead and hit OK, and then I can go ahead and hit Finish. 
And in this particular case, if I wanted to cancel and close out the alarm here or hit continue uh, and try to cancel or close out the alarm, it's going to present me again with an extend close schedule dialog box. So we know that this person has been validated. They have the permission to change that, but we are forced to go in and put in that new time information uh, for that close schedule. Now the other thing that we've added into this as well is the advanced button, which you may have even noticed uh, in the first scenario. Uh, this advanced button, what that will do is bring up the actual temp schedule change dialog box. So we could go in here and validate uh, the password and make the schedule change through the traditional means uh, that, that currently exists within Manitou. So again, this will bypass that whole extend uh, option, but with that new extend, you can quickly go in and modify that schedule. Uh, so you really don't need to use this functionality anymore, but it is available to you if you still want to uh, operate that way. So we can go back here to our main screen. Uh, let's again go in here, finish close, and we'll go ahead then and finally put in our extension here of 60 minutes. Hit continue, give it a resolution code, hit OK, and now that alarm has been logged into history.